I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person. So we got this Princess of Pentacles, and it's with the lady. Now, the lady is actually the Empress in most decks, and it's about coming abundance in a lot of ways. The Empress is the kind of person that would... Uh, march to the beat of their own drum. They could have a lot of people drawn to them. The Empress can be about giving birth. Um, what I'm getting is that you're dealing with someone that had a lot of, a lot of attraction towards you. They were very attracted to you. For some of you, you did give birth or have a child with this person, for some of you. And with this Princess of Pentacles here, this person could have been younger than you. Now, the Princess of Pentacles can be about boredom in some ways, or things just losing its luster. So, this is telling me that... Some of you Libras, you were dealing with a Taurus or Virgo, and some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. They were very drawn to you. The Empress has people attracted to them. If it wasn't your outer beauty, it could have been your soul, your spirit, your inner self. So... You were losing interest, though, in this person. Yeah. Something had lost its luster. Maybe the connection was just not as, was just not as exciting as it once was. So let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Prince of Swords and Justice. Now, this Prince of Swords is the Knight of Swords in most decks. And the Knight of Swords is the type of person that comes rushing in. This person is the type that will cut out anything just to be with their person. Or they will cut out anything that gets in their way. Knight of, this uh, Knight of Swords rushes in and because it's with justice there could have been some wrong that needed to be made right so coming up something could happen whereas you could be expressing to your person that you didn't appreciate something or they could know that something was not supposed to happen that way and they come rushing in to fix it just to make it right, this person wants to do right by you. They want to do the right thing in this connection. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the Four of Pentacles, and it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles can be about some type of unhealthy clinging, Holding on to holding on to things, people, or situations too tight. Yeah, for some, this person could be holding on to their money, or holding on to things that make them feel secure in an unhealthy way. Yeah, because this—if you can see the picture of the Four of Pentacles, this man—he's locking up all of his his treasures. And he's going to throw that key away. He thinks that's the best way to do it. He won't even know where the key is. But he's thinking, well, at least everything will be safe. Safe and secure. 
some unhealthy clinging. If it's not clinging on to money, if it's not, if this person is not the type that's breadcrumbing you, they could be clinging on to you in an unhealthy way, whether you know it or not. It's making you feel like you just want to fall back because the Queen of Pentacles is here. The Queen of Pentacles falls back. She'll she'll just take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. Yeah, like she's sitting in her backyard. She's just playing with some crafts or just being creative by herself with the animals in the backyard. So you, this person makes you feel like you want to fall back from them sometimes. There's some unhealthiness here. But this person's... This person is really into you. Like I said, they'll rush towards you. If they're busy, they'll put a stop to it. Come rushing in just to fix things. They want to do right by you with justice here. Very drawn to you. But let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We have the Five of Cups and it's with the Ten of Wands. The Five of Cups can be about disappointment, crying over spilled milk, and of course we know it's, if there is some disappointment, it's probably much more than spilled milk, but that's what the cards say in the tarot. And it's with the Ten of Wands now. The Ten of Wands is about feeling like you're carrying a heavy burden, a heavy load, feels like a hard place in the relationship. So there's some disappointment going on here in this connection. It could be for different reasons. Some of the things that are, are showing in this reading is that for one, you could be dealing with someone that's not on your maturity level because we got this page of pinnacles here and you're kind of losing interest. And then they have this unhealthiness about them, whereas they, they could be the type, type that would breadcrumb you or they're just holding on to you really tight in an unhealthy way. Yes, because they're very attracted to you. Could be your outer beauty and your inner beauty, but you're losing interest. So the connection could start to feel really difficult coming up. And there's some type of disappointment here. You could be having a hard time Focusing on the positive, and it just starts to feel difficult. That's what it's showing. So, Libra, that's the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonate. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, don't forget to keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, family member a co-worker or a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Libra, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. 
I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.